Hello everyone, hope you're doing well. In this video, I'm going to show you how we can create auto login policy, uh, which is going to be applicable on Microsoft Edge browser, uh, not Edge, but it is specifically for uh, Google Chrome browser, right? And this is going to be used or it is going to work similar to a single sign on for Microsoft Edge, the way Microsoft Edge is allowing users to log in with their work account for office.com and office 365 applications, right? So the same is going to be working with Google Chrome browser. So for that, there is a separate ADMX profile that we need to create. So ADMX policy needs to be uploaded beforehand so that we can create the policy. So I'm going to show you the ADMX as well. So I have uploaded one of the ADMX files within the Intune. And from here you can see uh, this one here, google.admx and chrome.admx. So these are the two files that we need to upload in the import ADMX section here. And then basis on that, we can simply go ahead and create the policy, right? So now I'm going to show you how we can create the policy from here and how that policy is going to be used, right? So let's go ahead and do that. Let's click on new policy and select the Windows 10 and later, and then select the templates. Why templates? Because the ADMX is going to be the pre-built template policy that we are going to import simply, and then that is going to be created and added into the policy, right? So this is the imported administrative templates currently that's in preview but we can use it for uh, different use cases right and click create so i'm going to give it a name like auto login to chrome on work account so you can give any name whichever is suitable for you also i'm going to give the same description but description can be given anything that is easy to understand and identify later and then it should be good so next we need to select the settings so as i have already uploaded the admx policy or profile you can see the google application or folder it's shell it's showing up here right so even if i don't do any uh search or something you can see the lot of folders and there are a number of settings are available for chrome browser specifically but i'm going to simply select it i'm going to simply type it here or copy paste it from another screen that i have here with me and then i'm going to simply put it as a part of this policy right so the policy name is this one here you can see allow automatic sign in to microsoft cloud identity providers so this means that currently it is set to not configured but we can set it to enable or disable and as per requirement so now let's click on this here and you see there are different uh, options for us enable disabled and not configured and also we can see there is a some description. So we can see the description here, uh, which says by setting this policy to one, which is enabled, users can sign into their computer with an account backed by Microsoft cloud identity providers. For example, Microsoft Azure Active Directory or consumer Microsoft account identity provider, or we have added a work or school account to Microsoft Windows can be signed into web properties using that identity automatically, uh, which says information pertaining to user's device and account is transmitted to the user's cloud identity provider for each authentication events. So this means that we can set device. Once we enable this policy, users can use their work account, which is going to be managed by Microsoft Entra ID as well as the device is going to pick up the Intune authority and then it is going to be deploying the autos login or automatic login or sign in activities and then 
it is going to authenticate all those events with Microsoft Enter ID, right? And also in the second section, it says that we can use the Microsoft personal accounts as well. If in case we are letting people use that one. So definitely there are uh, use cases, whether we wanted to let people use that. But in most cases, if we have the device and the user accounts, which is managed through Microsoft account or Microsoft Azure AD, then it is going to simply take the priority on it and the precedence would be on the Azure Active Directory. Right. And basis on that, it is going to simply let people sign in and use browsers with the office.com applications and everything once we set it to enable. So now once I set it to enable here, we have two options. Disable Microsoft Cloud Authentication and second is enable. So we need to enable this authentication so that this authentication is going to be enabled. And basis on that, it is going to uh, enable for the users on the Google Chrome browser. So let's do that here. And also you see there are some options, uh, ways which is supported on Microsoft Windows 7 and later operating systems as well. So this is going to be helpful there as well. So currently it says Windows 10, uh, this feature is available starting on Windows 10. So this means that this was the older statement or older version. And this capability is not available for uh, incognito and guest modes of the Google Chrome browser. So this doesn't work with those modes. If people are using Google Chrome uh, with the incognito window or guest mode, this is not going to work with them. And this policy is possible or is available with the Chromium open source project because uh, Microsoft not Microsoft, but the Google Chrome has their Chromium versions as well, right? And since the latest versions are purely based on Chromium versions, and that is why this policy is really going to help in that scenario as well. So but the browser should be Chromium based as well as it should have the latest features or latest updates. And this is going to be helpful and work out. All right, so that's this is the configurations which we can go ahead and implement. And then once we have that ready, we can simply deploy it. So now it is enabled. We are good here to move ahead. And I'm not going to add any scope tags. I can add or assign all the devices group here. And this policy would be applied to all the devices across. And then here we should have the summary of the policy and we can see what is there, what is not and which configuration settings we have selected and all. And we are ready to good, uh, create the policy here. So perfect, this policy is created. Now we can simply find that policy here uh, by searching it. Perfect, so policy is created. You can see it's targeting Windows 10 and later. Administrative templates and the last modified date time. So once you open it, you see here at the top name and there you see the device configuration ADMX profile, a policy, because this is going through the ADMX, right? And that is why uh, this is going to give us that details. And at the down here, you see the configuration settings. So this is all about this auto login policy to uh, deploy on the work devices or on the Google Chrome browser specifically. And it is going to improve the user experience while logging into office apps. Otherwise, there are situations when, when we are enforcing MFA on the user accounts and people are tend to use mostly the Google Chrome browser and not the Microsoft Edge always, right? And that is why they have to re-authenticate every time whenever they are trying to access any of the Office apps, including Teams, Outlook, SharePoint, or any any browser-based applications, right? So this is this is very uh, 
game changer and time saving application or the capability that we can deploy and make use of it so yeah that's all for this video thanks for watching please do like share and subscribe and do share this in your community and friends and yeah thanks bye for now